white men need to understand that not every thought that they have is worth saying. Hi, I'm Eduardo Naret with Campus Reform. Today we're at American University. With criticisms of the Oscar nominees being too white and too male, we're asking students if they think that's a problem and why. All right, so another year of the Oscars, another year of criticisms of the Oscars being too white and too male, people saying that the nominees do not represent the type of actors out there or even the country. Do you think that's a problem? And if so, why? Absolutely. I think there should have been more diverse thing. I mean, this has been a problem with the Oscars for what, like, ever now? Yeah, I definitely think there's a problem. I feel like we, um, as a Latina woman, I definitely want to see more representation in the entertainment. Um, I do think it's a problem because it's not reflective of our actual population. Racial representation is pretty pathetic right now. Um, I would agree that that is a problem, mainly just because it's been predominantly white for such a long time and we need more representation. We have seen that there's a lot of issues with representation. We all need to show ourselves a little bit more and create more diversity and inclusion. I don't think it reflects society well, and I feel like there's a lot more than just white men doing important sure. things. I don't even know who was nominated because I can't sure. think of any mm-hmm. white men who really stand out. But If you're qualified to, to be nominated for award, if, you, if, been, if you've made it a significant contribution to the arts or whatever, then you should be nominated. I think we shouldn't really necessarily take into consideration too much the race or gender of specific nominees. To a certain extent, I think it is, but I, I think the bigger, the bigger aspect should be if it's on merit. Qualifications and the quality of the work should be the priority as opposed to, you know, your level of melanin or chromosomes or whatever. So if the, if the white actors and if the male actors deserve the Oscar nominations, then they should be receiving them. But, how, like, same goes for any other actor of color, too. What do you think lack of diversity shows and represents more broadly speaking? Like what type of issue do you think maybe it speaks to deeper problems that may exist? I've never really like lived in an area or a situation where like white men aren't the just like dominant or like, you know, overwhelming majority. I think that it's important to get like a multitude of perspectives and um, different ways of looking at issues. And I feel like an all white is not... Um, indicative of society. We're uh, like the social justice generations and we are starting to become really vocal and aware of all of these issues. So at what point does too many white people in these positions are nominated or maybe in broader society at what point is too white a problem you can definitely see like if you look around you in your daily life clearly just america is is not entirely white but if that's the only people that you're seeing kind of in these positions of power and or respect um and that does not compare kind of accurately to the demographics around you in your daily life then you have to stop and consider like why is this this way why are these power structures this way and what is the threshold for you on campuses when it becomes too white and then too problematic? Um, I think that personally, the majority of my professors are uh, white men. If the only people in power in a lot of places like entertainment and government and things like that are mostly white men, then you're not, they're going to make decisions in their interests and whether consciously or unconsciously will have a bias towards picking other white men. The growing, there's growing uh, minority Hispanic communities growing large. The African-American community is obviously very big here. The Asian community is getting bigger. So there should be equal there should be like representation for them in our highest places do you feel like your college experience has been too white too male influenced the faculty should be a little bit more inclusive i feel like there's a lot of like white males as you said Uh, i tend to be the only um latina in the class or even women of color in the class i heard something a while back about like possibly pushing for like an all-black like section of student housing uh i think something that's a good idea yeah i know that a lot of students have been making calls for diversity but i also see professors in classes talking about it um but i think that asking uh the students of color their opinions on like what would make them feel comfortable is a good place to be at Where in your campus life do you hear of an effort for a bigger push for diversity and inclusion? I hear it a lot from administrators and professors, but I think it comes better from professors. I hear a push all the time. I think it's a result of the changing demographics of the country. You know, as each generation progresses, it gets more and more diverse in terms of of racial identity. You have uh, declining birth rates among white Americans and increased immigration, which I think is a a great thing. If you're going to remove racism, everything should be on merit, not because of your skin color that that you got a prize for something.
How's it going? I'm Eduardo Norette with Campus Reform. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to get our latest content, click right here. If you're interested in joining our team as a correspondent or an investigator, click there. And if you want to donate to make sure we can create more great content like this, click right here.